In the quaint village of Whisperwood, where the ancient oak trees sway in rhythm with the wind, a unique soul named Ilara resided. Her hair, a captivating shade of twilight, and eyes reflecting the mesmerizing hues of the Aurora Borealis set her apart. While she was famed for her delectable honey cakes, her heart belonged to the celestial bodies that decorated the night sky. Every evening, she would perch on the highest branch of the oldest oak tree and trace the forgotten constellations with her keen gaze. One unclouded evening, a shooting star, brighter than any Alara had ever observed, streaked across the sky, not disappearing but rather plummeting into the heart of the whispering woods. The woods, a labyrinth of twisted trees and hushed secrets, were off-limits to the villagers. But Alara, her heart a battlefield of curiosity and apprehension, filled her worn-out satchel with her star charts and a loaf of honey cake, and ventured into the unknown. The whispering woods were teeming with life. The rustling of leaves and the watchful eyes of unseen creatures accompanied Alara as she traced the path of the fallen star. It led her to an otherworldly clearing, where the fallen star now lay as a radiant stone, and beside it a silver-haired maiden, unconscious and bathed in the ethereal glow. With a beating heart, Elara approached the maiden, offering the honey cake she had baked. The maiden woke, her golden eyes wide with surprise, but seeing Elara's offering, she accepted it with a smile. This maiden was Luna, a star sprite from a distant constellation who had crash-landed on Earth. Luna needed Elara's knowledge of the constellations to find her way back home, a journey which promised to be filled with danger and mythical creatures. Despite the challenges, they embarked on their journey, their friendship growing stronger with every passing day. They traversed the celestial pathways, the laughter of the two friends echoing amidst the stars. After months of travel, they reached Luna's home, a vibrant nebula teeming with life. Luna, with tears in her golden eyes, embraced Ilara, promising to remember the courageous baker who dared to journey through the stars. Returning to Whisperwood, Ilara was transformed. The stars were no longer mere celestial bodies, but symbols of courage and friendship. She continued to bake her honey cakes, but her gaze often wandered to the night sky, a twinkle of mischief in her twilight eyes. Elara, the village baker, had unlocked the secrets of the stars, and her life would never be the same. 